We got some amazing magic mail today that warranted not having a typical intro. This looks like it's from Sugar Boo. There was no card or anything saying who it was from. It is the speech that Samwise Gamgee gave to Frodo in Two Towers that touched us so deeply when we watched it a couple of weeks ago. This is going up very soon and I can't believe it. I'm shocked. Now back to your regularly scheduled intro. Okay, you cannot tell from this clip, but there was a large crash on I-4 blocking all of the lanes. He's broke, he won't talk. I am broken. There was really bad traffic going home today, like more than normal. I think Floridians are having a hard time adjusting to daylight savings time or something. <laughs> and traffic, I didn't get home till after six, which usually I can get home at like between 5.30 and 5.40. Yeah. Got home after six, was home for like not even 10 minutes, changed, and got back in the car. So we had every intention of going to Magic Kingdom tonight, see my pretty Christmas ears, um, to meet up with Jenna and Isaac. But by the time, now that it's so late, by the time we get there, like Magic Kingdom would close in like less than an hour ish. Yeah. So, um, we're not gonna go, we're gonna turn around. I wish we had just, like, obviously we there was no way of knowing and we were going into it very hopeful. Um, now we're on the turnpike. So now we're on the turnpike. Um, weird, weird beginning of the vlog. <laughs> and now it's pouring rain. Something is, something's trying to tell us something. <laughs> I love driving. You guys know this. I even drove to Chic from Chicago to Florida once by myself. You drove across the whole country. I didn't even drive on Route 66. Did you guys know I drove for like two hours one day? I think it was like in Chicago too. It was in Illinois. Illinois. It, was the, it was the day after because I remember being on the phone with mom talking about how everyone was at our house eating our leftovers from our wedding. So, but Peter Burkhardt hates, hates with a passion traffic and mindless driving. It is 7.13 p.m. I left work like 15 minutes early today, so I've essentially been in the car since 4.45. Um, you know but, how Peter talks a lot? He's been silent. <laughs> <laughs> but this is the moment. We're going to this fancy store. I've never been to this Lucky's Market. Sarah came once. We're gonna go to PetSmart and see if we can get Eve some treats. Um, the night turns around right now, okay? but it's soggy out too. <laughs> but is. We like a good soggy night. Maybe we'll go home and watch yesterday. I'm supposed to run tonight, but if it's raining, I can't run. Oh, no, I, no, 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 no. But I have a big run tomorrow morning that Sarah, or tomorrow that Sarah hasn't realized. We haven't talked about it yet. <laughs> Look at Kyle. <laughs> Kyle's crazy. Ooh. I've never seen a snake move like that. So active. You guys wanna know a secret? Sarah grew up with a bird as a pet. Christina's. It was my up. little sisters, but. I grew up with guinea pigs. Well, I think Eve would be happy. Look how beautiful that guinea pig back there. It's the light and dark brown. Aww. I feel like Eve would be so happy if we brought a guinea pig home. Wow. We... This is where you can sip and stroll. This is the most hipster Whole Foods I've ever been in. I already checked last time I was here. Ooh. All of these have dairy. Oh. I was gonna get you one because you've been jumping. I just saw it. that Moochies can be vegan. Yeah, but these ones aren't. Oh, look at this cool place, Mickey's Cafe. It is still pouring out, and my shoe is soaked oh. from bringing Eve's stuff to the car. We'll do a haul of Eve's things when we get home. Oh, give thanks. Look at this stuff. Look at. The vegan muffin, Abe's. Coconut carrot cake, vegan. We learned about babka from the Great British Baking Show. Um, let's check out the ingredients, why don't we? Meat, soy, and eggs, darn it. We're having naan one night, there's breakfast. Sarah brought me over to the vegan section and found out that the cheese dips that we liked are on sale. No, we've never had these ones. Oh. They have so many different kinds. Go 
garlic parm. Sarah also happens to be hungry. Great music on. And is this night's gonna end with another movie? Because it's rainy out and it's absolutely freezing in it's here. It's so cold in here. Okay. <laughs> Yummus, hummus. This reminds me of Honest Abe, so I think we should get an honest, honest stand. Okay, should we get spicy nachos? Yes! Everything I'm, in life I, is spicy. I hope that it tastes good. So do I. It's always a hit or miss. One of my favorite things to do is to go grocery shopping when Sarah's hungry. I can get all my old doodads <laughs> and treats then. But what did I say? I want to, I want to spend <laughs> below a certain amount. But sometimes the stomach speaks more wise words than the mind. So much chocolate, but my new favorite thing are these. Wait, no, they're here. Wait, I thought they were Justin's brand. Oh gosh, I gotta check and see if this is good. But I love wafer anything. Let's say a prayer that I can get it. This struck me so funny. It's Lucky's Brands. Like, what are these? Like mini wheats? Yeah, little haystacks. <laughs> Sweep me off my wheat. <laughs> I did go with these wafers. It does say may contain, which means cross contamination, which we're fine with. But um, if you're not fine with it, then you wouldn't want to eat this. Okie dokie, this is Eve's little haul. They're having a treat promotion, so. These are for her glands that used to give us a lot more issues, but it's really like fixed itself with these soft chews. Um, and then just her like typical normal treats, and then this is special. This is my fancy drink of choice tonight. It is definitely has a bite to it. It's a sparkling energy drink. It has that like sparkling taste. But it also has um shoot where is it? Green coffee bean extract. Ooh. We're heating up our honest Abe cheese. That's not cheese. Fingers crossed, guys. It is nine ten, and I feel like I finally stopped moving. I know. And I feel like I've finally been released from the car. The car. <laughs> we're gonna sit on the couch. What are we gonna watch? Not yesterday. Okay. It's the Leaning Tower of Cheese. It Chinsa. looks like real cheese. Yeah. It smells. It's like pretty real good. Cheese. Do you want to embarrassingly show how I don't know how to pour a glass of red wine? <laughs> I'm not sophisticated. Thank you. It's way better than that other stuff we got. From. I don't think it's nut based. It's what kind of it? grainy. It says potato. Though. Potato, potato. They don't want you to know. First ingredient, water. Second, potatoes, cashews, carrots, onions, tomatoes, green chilies, vinegar, sea salt, jalapeno peppers, garlic powder, natural flavor, red pepper flakes, Cayenne pepper. It's potatoes. I, th I think I taste it. I like it. We just took even a little bit of a walk, so she's all amped. She does not want anything to do with her new treat. She looks like she might be ready for bed. <laughs> and we're going to watch Yesterday Tonight. We'll watch Yesterday Tonight, and when you're watching this, we watched it yesterday. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, yesterday. Ooh, our collection's up to 82. Let us know what your streaming purchase collection's at. What do you think of the cheese? I really like it. I don't know if it's like the best one. No, I think it might be the best one. I've had other non, or other vegan dips. The ones that Lauren, actually that never ended up going up in the vlog. So I vlogged the day that the footage was lost when I was in Chicago. And I put it in there, but then we didn't end up, like I didn't have enough footage for like a full vlog. We're having a dip party. Lauren and my mom are here. My mom's always here. But we're gonna I do. She just stopped by. <laughs> but I'll put a link in the description of what the brand was. Cause I can't remember. I think there was some profanity in it. Um, but I'll put like, like their website in it and it was so good there was like a cilantro one was it nut based no well it, it might have been but it was like it was way thinner it wasn't like trying to be a cheese dip but it was just like a really delicious dip that like would be at any party or restaurant and would be delicious for anybody but the real question though would creepy santa eat it mm -hmm. creepy santa in his creepy ways is now just chilling so you're sitting on the couch 
Look over your shoulder. Boom! Creepy Santa with his little creepy book and his little creepy body. He's so plump, but his limbs are so flat. Why didn't you tell me my hair was falling totally out from into a ponytail? He <laughs> said so your hair's falling out totally into a ponytail. I look like George Washington. I know you like to be George Washington, so I thought you were representing. I forgot to show you guys something that I got yesterday from my friends, Ashley and Ryan. They got me this necklace. Ooh, the reveal. It says miracles take time, but it's like subtle Disney. That's something that the fairy godmother says to Cinderella. Um, I was going to wear it to Magic Kingdom tonight, but things didn't end up working out. But what's so cool is the woman that they bought it from had also gone through infertility um, and sort of like when they were in the shop looking at it and being like, oh, we should get this for Sarah. Then they started talking to her and then they found out all this other information. So it was so thoughtful of them to give this to me. They also got us this really sweet gift when we found out that we were expecting a Pegasus, like one of the little stuffed animal baby Disney characters. Um, and Hercules is my very most favorite Disney movie. And that was so thoughtful. They're just like, so awesome and they were just here for the weekend for wine and dine and um and i wish we were able to have more time with them but it was obviously so chaotic and it was a short trip for them but they are going to be back at the end of the year and we're already like chit chatting with them about what we're gonna do and it's just so cool that peter isn't it so cool that like we made friends through youtube like it's literally crazy to me to like think about it not only do we make friends but then, I didn't even tell Sarah this yet. If we haven't confessed, I think we've conf we've snitched on me before. I open all the boxes when I'm at the P.O. box without Sarah. Yeah. <laughs> and I literally, I started crying in the, in the post office today. Peter sent me like this super vague text about like the vlog being more than we even, hold on, he's up on the table. Even more than what, how important it is to us, like how it's like, I think I said, I don't think we realize how important this vlog truly is. Yeah. And I sent it with a photo of this. So but I didn't get, get the, the photo, contact, but it was just like got the photo. a super vague text message. And I was like, is everything okay? <laughs> like, what happened? And I really bad traffic, so instead I ended up like 30 minutes later calling me. I was like, what the heck is the deal? So I just think it's so cool. I'm and like... We've met some of our very best friends that we're probably, well, not probably, but we're going to have forever from the YouTube. Yeah. It's so cool. Did you get up there for the chips? You're gonna be an almost naughty. Oh, just relax. Watch the movie <laughs> with your bag of tortilla chips. She's so cute. <laughs> Peter loves Remember, Remember, the 5th of November. Oh my gosh, I can't get this. I can't get a girl. Okay, here we go. The trouble is, you think you have time. Buddha. Honestly, that quote really resonates with me. Because I feel like we hear that a lot from our doctors. We hear that a lot from other people saying how young we are through all of our trials and tribulations. And um, I don't know, I think time is such an interesting concept. Maybe I have a better understanding of it all going through losing my dad um, at a younger age about like making the most of time and so I don't know I think that that is something that quote in particular really is important because I don't know I think that we should never take advantage of the time we have if that means putting off something that you really want or something that you really want to do just do it or in our case try your very best to do it full-heartedly even if it seems like you might have time you never you just time is not promised this is what i walk around the corner to see i'm so sleepy come on evie let's go to bed guys i was looking up bed frames on facebook marketplace did you find some peter was asleep i did fall asleep um i didn't find one in particular but i feel like I have no more what I want. Good. <laughs> you just sounded like she was about to say something. 
but I guess she's not gonna. <laughs> Don't you wish she could talk? I do. She would say probably some funny stuff. <laughs> well, thank you for watching this really strange vlog. <laughs> Um, We've had goofy vlogs like this before, but it... Hopefully we'll get to Disney property tomorrow. <laughs> hopefully, we were so close today. Hopefully, we hopefully so close. traffic isn't my mortal enemy, enemy tomorrow. Yeah, for sure. It's good, it's to, be good home. to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>